Maternal health advocates worry about future funding, which could help pregnant women and new moms. They say it's critical the state health department releases a report which includes data on pregnancy-related deaths. We've reported how it was supposed to be released last month, but the health department says the data is still being reviewed. Now, investigator Arzo Dose talks with a committee member studying the data. I've had three children and all of my pregnancies were high risk. And my second pregnancy, I did have a traumatic birth experience. Nakenya Wilson advocates for moms, so they don't experience what she says happened to her during childbirth. She's now on the state's Maternal Mortality and Morbidity Review Committee. The group is studying data and trying to understand why Texas moms are dying and if those deaths were preventable. The data is now delayed. Being someone who was a near miss, I think that I have a deeper understanding of, you know, what this really means when we hold off on providing the information necessary to make changes. The Texas Department of State Health Services says the committee is still in the middle of reviewing 2019 maternal deaths. A spokesperson says the 2019 maternal and fetal death files were recently finalized and staff is reviewing them, which is an extensive process. In a letter given to KXAN investigators and sent to Governor Greg Abbott, the department says the committee has reviewed 118 cases, but has identified at least 31 additional cases. The data, which was supposed to be released in September, is now expected to be complete by next summer. Do you fear not having up-to-date data will impact outcomes? I, I think that not having accurate data handicaps us and that those who are the most vulnerable will see the greatest impact. State Representative Sean Theory from Houston has been sounding the alarm for years and pushing legislation that would include real-time reporting of maternal health outcomes. She says the data that has been available to the public is a decade old. And Texas women cannot afford to wait on this information. The outcomes the findings in the report drive um, our healthcare establishment. So safety protocols may be changed. Uh, we can draft policy to address why do we have such disparities based on race. Theory says the delay impacts what lawmakers can do next legislative session, which starts in January. A spokesperson with the state health department says in an email, we look forward to continuing to work with legislators on ideas about ways to speed up the review committee's work, as well as the maternal health data we can share. We've all got to get on the same page about getting accurate, relevant, up-to-date information to inform better and more comprehensive care. Wilson is also a founding member of the Maternal Health Equity Collaborative, which started during the pandemic and advocates to improve maternal health among black women. She says the group used data from past reports to get a million dollar grant to help moms. We just had a mom last week who had to be readmitted to the hospital um, due to postpartum complications. And we were able to send doulas for 24 hour around the clock care for her baby so that she could be with her baby and get the medical care that she you know, needs to receive. And prior to um, this grant, we would see moms who would literally discharge against medical advice and potentially put their life at risk. Arzo Dost for State of Texas. A new CDC national report finds four in five pregnancy-related deaths in the U.S. are preventable. The agency says the data is based on detailed assessments of more than 1,000 pregnancy-related deaths between 2017 and 2019. The report says mental health conditions, including death to suicide and overdose or poisoning related to substance use, were the leading cause of pregnancy-related deaths. Our investigators have detailed problems with how the state tracks maternal deaths and near deaths since 2019. Scan the QR code on your screen to see those reports now. You can find links to hear from Texas moms affected and look at the legislation which could make a difference. Thank you again for joining us for State of Texas. I'm Josh Hinkle. We'll be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics.